Cheers, and welcome, my friends. I'm Anatak, and we are playing Europa Never Solace 4 with the newest DLC, Golden Conquest, um, or Golden Century, actually. Welcome back to our playthrough with Venice. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we are planning to go into Ming via attacking their, well, their tributary over here, Tondo. That's kind of my plan. They have two fleets over here that, uh, depending on how things go, we might be able to deal with. I think I wouldn't mind having these guys leave into Guangxu Bay. So maybe we wait a couple more days. Okay, so that fleet is out. Now we'll declare war on Tondo. We're, we're ready for this. <sighs> Tributary of Ming. I cannot pull anyone in. For Ayutthaya, it's a distant war for some reason. Yo, bro, this is in your, like, home waters. Just saying. No, let's do it. Okay, so we'll march here into Tondo. We'll march here into this. And we'll see how it works. Right? And there's our Utaya that can be called. Call to arms, yes. We're gonna fight their trading fleet over here. There's 17 ships. And now we should also be able to, yeah, march through their lands. And start doing stuff. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh no, okay. Right, they got Ayutthaya now. Ah, we captured four light ships though. I like that. Um... Where are they going? Taiwan Strait. Yeah, this is an inland sea. I don't I don't like the inland seas all that much if I have to fight with um some of their their other ship types. Great Britain have sabotaged our diplomatic reputation. Thank you, Great Britain, you ass. So those four lights. Ah, we can't pull them off right as of yet. Well, we'll just uh, go ahead and store them in here, I guess. And we'll take out these ships, and then we're gonna go for like a bit of a repair thingy. These guys are now just m marching north. 64k of our finest. So, this guy's got some heavies and a light. Should be able to deal with this. I kind of stopped us from from coming into these provinces. Alright then. Uh, do we want to detach a blockade? I'd rather repair the damaged ships. Also lost the claim now. That's fine. Well, yeah, let's just... Try to get this under control ASAP, if we can. Let's try to destroy their fleet as soon as we can too. Go after this army. Should be fine. We'll be okay. Ayutthaya is also marching into Ming. Ming is gonna take quite some time to bring its troops into our area. Okay, there's a discipline advisor. Hello, welcome. Glad to have you, sir. No, oh, and there are, there are the transport ships. When are you gonna be there? 11th of April. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna catch their, their transports. I'll just do a little bit of microing here. 
put these ships out. Okay, that happened. One, two, three. Okay. Let's hope we can do this. For some reason, our arm, uh, our navy morale is actually worse than theirs. Not quite sure why, but that seems to be the case. Leave these guys. And just maybe we might actually be better off sending this fleet in into there as well. I mean, ordinarily, this should not be a problem. It's like 7 heavies versus 56 heavies. These guys have just met like a gigantic fleet. Okay. Right. Okay, I mean, I guess I just managed to flee. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Okay, these guys are now blockaded. Oh no. Well, oh no, actually these guys are leaving. I think, yeah, okay. Thought they were engaging Ayutthaya, but for some reason they aren't. This is now our province. Get their main fleet. Spain is in a coalition. Yeah, sure, come on. Bring it, Spain. Captured no ships. Oh, this is over here, the Visayan Sea. Yes, this gave us five ships. Very nice. So, two lights, three transport ships. Um, send all these conquer ships into. You know, we sent the transports into here and the lights into here, I guess. So what are our troops doing? I want Canton. That's definitely what we're gonna what we're gonna try to siege down, and then we'll see how much of the coast we take and all all, all those kinds of things. And since Tondo is the war leader, we might actually be able to just negotiate from Tondo to take some Ming land. Yes, I know that would be hilarious. <laughs> So, Terra Nova, I really don't like me all that much. Let's make sure that we send you to Terra Nova, just to make sure that that's a thing. Oh, that's the, that's the Ming fleet. Oh yeah, let's engage these guys. How's that going? Why is our morale so bad? I don't I don't get that. These guys are using purely transport ships. Yeah, just like we, we lose three heavies and they lose nothing. What the heck? How's that how is that a thing? I, I don't get that. I really don't get the naval battles as of yet. It's just weird. Odd. It's just odd. Like, this is a giant armada. These guys are transport ships. Why are the transport ships doing better? That's a 130 maneuver guy. Our guy has 1311. Just weird. Okay, we won the Siege of Tondo. Let's take these guys, then we're gonna take these guys. Okay, we destroyed the Tondon flagship. Nice. Gained five prestige. We've got some heavies back. Won't say no to that. 
Well, this guy actually does have a shipyard too. Or oh, this place. Um, yeah, we'll move on to our fortress here, I guess, with this army. I got the Battle of Manila done. Send these guys over. We're sieging down Canton. It's not blockaded. Just don't get what I have to do to, to take these guys down. Like, am I, am I just behind in naval tech like crazy? No, I'm 10 years ahead. So what is this? I'm at 26. These guys, I think, are also at 26. Yeah, so that's not a thing. <laughs> these guys are sieging these places down. Sure. Did you see them march in and right away get a get a wall breach? That's totally fine. No, that's that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Things are not bad though. Actually kinda happy. Early frigate. Heavy frigate frigate. It's all it's all in there. Every type of ship. I mean, could do some naval landings over here to destroy these armies, but I'm not e even interested in fighting them. As long as they're sieging over there, they're not fighting us over here. Let them siege. I'm fine with this. If we can take Canton and Macau, we're really well off. Gonna be extremely happy with that. It's gonna be difficult to take Canton, but oh well. Just separate piecing out Ming might still be the better the better option. The question is, do we ferry our troops onto the mainland? Okay, what are you doing now? I can just move around their, their transport fleet with impunity. Why is that the th why is that the case? I don't get it. We're rolling equally. It's still weird. We're the ones taking the damage and losing the ships. Well, at least now they lost a heavy ship, but something's not right here. Something something I'm doing wrong. Palembang and Russia. Okay, yeah, that doesn't concern me. Making 350. <laughs> Why are we making so much money? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Let me let me just check this. So, um, I pause here. Still 63 has actually gone down. I'm like letting a lot of this trade slip through our fingers. This is still okay. We have 86% of the trade power now. We have 60% of the trade power here. 67% of the trade power there. Oh yeah, we max out apparently on military power. That's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Um, development. So, where's the cost? Dimasia. It's really cheap. Really cheap to, for me to develop here. Uh, it's going to be even cheaper if I just go encourage development. Yeah, it's like 18. I can do a lot with this. Right. Okay. Looks good. I think we're done for now there. Uh, but yeah, considering we still have a lot of points... Oh yeah, we can't upgrade these while we're at war. Sure, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, there's the, the battle fleet. 
The big problem is that I'm allied with Ayutthaya and therefore I have like a big staging ground over here. I could just send troops in if I want to. Oh, these guys are trying to... What is this? This is not inland sea though, right? It isn't. It totally isn't. South China Sea... Inland Sea... I mean... All these guys... These guys are not state-of-the-art ships. Do we need to upgrade our whole fleet? I feel like we have to. Bunch of two-deckers, bunch of war gallons. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe we're just fighting with outdated ships and that's that's causing us harm. I will invest that to upgrade my entire war fleet. It, it'll take him out of commission for a little while. But it might also be incredibly helpful for us in the long run. Like, I think that's the, that's the final level too. So there's no other choice than to, to upgrade these ships to that level. It's just what has to happen, I guess. Um, these guys gonna upgrade them to make them all great frigates. Upgrade these dudes. Upgrade these dudes. And then our main home fleet should also be be updated at some point, but yeah. So I'm probably gonna go for the old carpet siege. At least a little bit. Ming is gonna gonna wonder what hit him. They are they might get this place though. Uh it's just a level six. Next time I'll actually upgrade them to level eight. If I can, I'll try to separate piece them out in some form or fashion. Would be really cool if we had some power in this node though. What, we have 32%? How is that possible? Provincial trade power. Because we have some siege provinces. I mean... Trade power, shrewd commerce practice, power projection, prestige, stability. Embargoed by Russia. Actually, yeah, considering this, isn't Russia one of our rivals? Listen, Russia. I think you need to be embargoed. And then we probably should embargo Ming too, just for the for the heck of it. Where are those guys going? Comes to Fanan. I mean we have to we have to wait until the morale and the strength of this fleet is up. There's not much we can do. Until then. Yes, finally. Admin tech. The question is, do we do we take it now? I think so. And this gives us the next idea group. Okay, Macau is now under our occupation. Take this. We'll see. We'll see. Still too many diplomatic relations. Resettlement. Phoenician Philippines company wants to drive out the local population in Bacol in order to clear the way for plantations and eventually settle large numbers of Venetian colonists there. So we lose the base tax and gain unrest, but we gain a plantation. Sure, sounds like a fine thing to do. It's totally not evil. Yeah, no, we're like just nice, I guess. <laughs> You're getting this all wrong. We're totally not evil bastards. Hey. <sighs> We 
can go up to speed three. Ooh, and we've converted some people. Nice. So Brunei is going to take 40 days. Uh, 40 months. Considering this, it might actually be better to, yeah, have someone with, like, missionary strength here in the... Making 320 bucks. I think it's actually worth it to upgrade this guy so that we get more admin power. Growth of the Dalmatia textile industry. Cloth will now be produced. We lose one base manpower. Through the use of modern machinery and working methods, the local weaving business of Dalmatia has grown into a much uh, larger scale business. Where once simply fabric was exported, there is now a thriving cloth production sector, greatly helping the local economy. However, not everyone is happy about this development and the artisans of Kelpie have petitioned the Dalian authorities to crack down on these low quality products. What? They should question the Venetian authorities though if they really want to do it. So we switch from wool with a price of 287 to cloth with a price of 405. Awesome. That's pretty nifty. I like that a lot. Hell of a lot. Do we do we dare go on this island? So not very important provinces. I think we'll just ignore them. I mean, it would be kind of nice to have that go along the coast, but Amata di Venezia. Uh, I want the guy from the Dalmatian Guard. Right. I mean, Tondo is gone, but we're not at a point where we can 100% them. Ming. No? We need 40% to get these two. Holy hell, that's a lot. That is a lot of... A lot of war score. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry. Gonna get this stuff if it's, if it's the last thing that I do. I guess speed is of the essence, so we'll go into a bit of a crazier um, carpet siege stance here. People state have removed <clears throat> military access, that's fine by me. What do you want? That war with Bengal? No. Not gonna happen, buddy. What, they have a level 2 fort in here? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Managed to take this place. That's fine. That's fine. Let them, let them siege these places if they want to. I'm okay, because the other thing drives up their war exhaustion. Actually, my war, war exhaustion is still higher than theirs, but no, never mind that. We won't mention that. Where, where are more forts? Okay, so Ayutthaya is sieging down this one. They don't have a lot of these forts. There's lots and lots of areas that are just unprotected. Converted. I'll just keep like converting people. Has to happen. Next time we get any boost to missionary strength, we'll take it. Actually, um, just a just a question here. Advancement of religion. We don't we don't care about institution spread anymore. So what do we need for this theologian? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. If I get my hands on a theologian next, I'll pass that, because there's, like, no more institution spread that's necessary. Okay, Denmark. 
took provinces in here. I don't like it, Denmark. They even have some of their separatists spilled into my lands. I don't like that even. I like it even less. Even less than what you did. I will basically try to take all their coasts. Where are their armies? Are they still in Persia? Might be. Uh, let's keep pushing. Well, there's actually something to be said for going for Holy War. To get that manpower recovery boost. But it's, it's just always fleeting. I won't just go mercantilism. Have more mercantilism, it's always good. So all my ships looking. They are completely repaired. So in theory, should be able to let these guys loose. Oh, there's a there's an army of Ming. Okay, hello. Brunei has insulted us. Not sure why you do stuff like that, Brunei. You have a death wish. Okay, we captured another transport ship. Uh, I don't care about the transport ship, just send it away. Where's their, where's their war navy? This is all inland sea. It's nasty. Bring it over here, bring it over here, bring it over here, bring it over here. Come on, fall. Nope. 64%. You can... You can never really rely on the AI holding sieges even if they're vastly favorable to them. Let me just put our army into here so that if they run away... They can be dealt with. Now, Ming, come on. Just... Yes! They would say yes to this. Oh, man. Do we do we keep pushing? Do we keep pushing this? Is the question. Like... This will give us... This will give us a really good foothold. We could just use ships to pull the trade out of this, but then again, this gives me like another trade charter. Oh man, oh man. I mean, we're not really in a good space right now. We're like having problems with our extension and stuff. Oh no, not our extension, but manpower. Manpower is low, war exhaustion is high. Do we keep fighting? I think we can keep pushing a little bit. If we see that we're like falling back majorly in uh, in war score, we'll, we'll deal with it. Yeah. Okay. No. We'll, we'll we'll take the we'll take this. We'll take this. Uh, Although we just made some profit here. But I mean, having Canton and Macau. It helps us quite a bit. And then we can always go for like a second war up here. When they're busy and we are in a better position. I'm not sure we're in a great position right now. Because these guys have... Well, they still have their war with Persia too. Not sure how much I want to fight. So if I take these, <laughs> I 
How much would I have to... How much would I have to... Get in wool school to take this? Oh no. They're attacking Caraman up here too. That's nasty. And they actually do have like a wall breach and everything. I wonder if we can just force march up there. That's not great. We'll stay here. See if they actually want to engage. Try and engage with one of their armies, see what they're made of. Okay, yeah, no, easily. Easily gonna be able to do this. Not quite sure what their problem is, but they're getting they're getting absolutely crushed by us. So we'll take the capital now, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, this doesn't look too good. Do we actually want to destroy their armies? Ming has 115k in terms of like base fighting power. Maybe they're willing to give us a little bit more. Like we're making gains. We're 47 war score now. No. They're just willing to give us these two. I'd say we take these and then go for like a proper attack on on China at some other point. Ming holds Beijing. We could do it, but now they've like moved all their armies over here. And also really don't want um, Bamanis to... Are they out of this war now? Are oh, they just fighting Persia now? Yeah, we'll get out of this. We'll, we'll cut our losses. Uh, this is still a very respectable thing. And then next time, once we have a little bit more manpower, we'll go after them. This is good. Okay, so these guys are now out. Uh, now, this should also allow me to take Tondo. Okay, move to Canton. Canton is definitely going to need a bigger fortress. That's a thing. Let's call these places. And then, well, why, why are we not at 100% with Tondo? Oh, we've got to wait until we have a diplomat in any case. So far, I'd, I'd count this as a win. Yeah, we'll definitely count this as a win. Uh, next time, we'll, we'll take all of Tondo, um, get all this sweet, sweet trade under our thumb. This alone should kind of help us to have absolute dominance in South China. I have another trade company that gives us a merchant. Kind of have to see that I use these merchants um, better. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.